It's two for Tuesday, and this is an exciting one for me. First, I want to start with a brief explanation. I, I've been going on with the 30-day challenge, and I started it off with this knife. This was a trapper. This is the one I fixed in one of my videos that I straightened the blade out on. And as you can see, let me turn it around. As you can see, it's still nicely centered. This clip point in here is still holding true. So this was a trapper. It's a little bit different. It has stag and it's got the normal clip point blade. But instead of the spade blade, it has this Warren Cliff. It's not even a standard Warren Cliff. That has, it has this very gentle taper down to a point. And I have found this blade just to be so useful. Um, I do IT work and lately I've been doing a lot of rewiring. And I have a lot of things done with zip ties. And I mean, I've probably cut you know, 100, 150 zip ties with this blade. And with that gradual taper, it's able to get underneath the zip tie without cutting the wires and pop the zip tie. So this blade design has just been incredibly useful for me. I carried this for the first two weeks of the challenge. And during those first two weeks of the challenge, I also carried the small Schrade lock, lock back. I think it's a 5 OTG. This case knife is going to stand in for it. I don't have it with me right now. So for the first two weeks, I carried that as the companion knife. So this, like I said, this case will just stand in. And the pair has been great. But I don't think the lockback actually really met the criteria for the challenge. So I put the lockback aside. And I wanted to go back to carrying a stockman. But this was also my first experience with True Sharp. And I wanted to continue that. So I got a Stockman in True Sharp, and I had been carrying that. But it needed a companion knife. So I found this little guy. This is a Case Mini Trapper in Buffalo Horn. Yeah, the Stockman doesn't have that Warren Cliff blade. But this one does. So since I always carry a companion knife anyway, this was perfect for it. It's also got a nice little half stop in there. And it's got the standard clip point, which also has a half stop. This knife is very well put together. The clip point is perfectly centered. The Warren Cliff blade favors that side a little bit, but it's got plenty of room. It doesn't even come close to rubbing. So this is not bad. And the other thing I was pleasantly surprised about is this is S35VN. Well, you can see the triple threaded bolsters. But one thing that was surprising, I expected this S35VN to be run on the soft side. That That's what I expected from Case. But in putting an edge on this, you take a look at this Warren Cliff blade. You can see I've had to put an edge on that. And in lowering that bevel, it took a lot of work on a 220 grit DMT diamond stone. So the material was took a long time to remove from this blade, which is a good sign that the steel is heat treated properly and it's nice and hard and it's gonna have a pretty good, um, pretty, it should have pretty good edge holding. Okay, so I've been carrying this knife in this little case um, belt sheath. This kind of does a scout carry, and it fits in here quite nice. So that makes a very nice little package to carry on the belt. But it doesn't stop there. I found another knife, and I've been carrying it in this slip that I made. As you can see, I put a, I put a bear on the front of it. It's a little difficult to pick up in the camera, but I, I think you can make it out right there. One of the reasons I put the bear on the front of this is we've been having bear come in our front yard. They've been going around the neighborhood and getting into everybody's trash. So it's just a reminder to be careful and not leave anything stinky outside and to keep everything nice and clean. And on the back of it, I did an experiment. I was trying to do the saw cut, you know, bone pattern. 
Uh, just for fun. I just wanted to see if I could figure out how to do it. So this is the full-size trapper. Also in S35VN and with buffalo horn. On this one, you also see the clip blade is centered very good. It's the same thing. The spade blade is not bad. It doesn't rub, but it is over to that side just a little bit. But this is pretty good. And this is another excellent case knife. The fit and finish on this is excellent. Everything is nice and flush. You don't feel anything. It's got the same triple thread bolsters. So you have the spade blade. And the clip point. And the same thing on this one. I didn't do a full regrind on this, but the edge bevel was not that great. On these S35VN blades, Case is not doing a very good job at all of sharpening them. The bevels are not, they're not even. They're, you know, they're just very inconsistent and they don't come sharp at all. So I think it just goes to show this steel is harder than what Case is used to dealing with in, in the way that they, the normal steels that they use and in the way that they normally sharpen knives. I don't think they're quite prepared to deal with these. So I'm glad I'm actually glad for that because this means the steel is nice and hard and will have great edge holding. Now in hitting this with a diamond stone, I just tuned it up a little bit, but I need to do a full reprofile on this and really work on this. But same thing, the material removal from this is a very slow process. I expected this to be more like S30. V. S35VN should be a little bit easier to grind away than S30V, but this is proving to be just as difficult as S30V. Not that it's hard, but when you have to do a major regrind, it takes a lot of work on the stones to remove the material. So this actually is, real, like I said, is really good news. The, so far, the edge retention is proving to be pretty good, but I've only been carrying these um, for a week or so, you know, and mostly this small one, the mini trapper, and I'm just starting with this one. So I'm going to use this for the rest of the 30-day challenge, and since I was carrying that that lockback for the first part of it, I'm going to do a reset on that, you know, for the time that I was carrying it. So I'm going to I'm going to call it as I'm two weeks into it. So I have two weeks left to go. So I'll use these two knives for the next two weeks, and then I'll give you another report on how they performed. We'll see after I get my own edge on it and get some use on it, and we'll see how these hold up. But I have very high hopes for these. These are a beautiful pair of knives. I love the buffalo horn handles, and the, the inlays in here are done perfectly. Everything on these knives is, they're just done right. I think I got very lucky with these two. Now, I had previously purchased one of these, and it was from Blade HQ, and it was so bad. Both blades were actually rubbing the liners, and I sent it back. I wasn't going to pay the money that they want for these, you know, for a premium knife with buffalo horn and S35 and have the knife be that bad. This is perfectly acceptable. The fit and finish is just great. Now, being a natural material, there are some inconsistencies. As you can see, it's a little different thickness on each side for the buffalo horn. Same thing on the other one, but that's to be expected in a material like this. This one has a very small gap right here. I don't know if I can get that camera to focus. You see it right there, very small gap right here. And that's about the only imperfection on this knife. Everything else is just beautiful. Same thing with the other one. These are two that were built right. And I'm very, very proud to own this pair of knives. And they do complement each other. This has the larger blades. So I'll use the, the clip blade as my clean blade for cutting up my food. The spade blade is going to be a general purpose blade. This will open boxes and cut up cardboard, uh, strip insulation off wires, and, you know, do all kinds of things, just general utility tasks. And on the smaller knife, I still have this beautiful Warren Cliff blade with the gradual taper 
to that real fine point for doing some of the, because I still have a lot of zip ties left to cut in a, and rewiring to do. So this is going to be a great addition. And just a little utility blade, which will be great for when I don't need the large knife, just for some small tasks. I love the shape of this. I love how this comes down and then it comes back up. I love that, um, that clip point blade on this knife. So let me know in the, in the comments below, what do you guys think about this pair of knives here? I would like to make a new open tag called complimentary knives. And it would be knives like these two. Knives that go together in some way and knives that you would carry as a pair. It's very seldom that I carry one knife just by itself. I always carry another knife that enhances its function and provides things that the other one is lacking. So these two, to me, are perfect complementary knives. They're both in this beautiful buffalo horn and they're S35VN. And this one brings that Warren Cliff blade to the table. So if you have any pairs like this that you carry together and you're hearing this video, consider yourself tagged. We'll see you on the next one.